Craig Bowlerjack along with Dan Bonner and exclusively for CBSSports.com. We're in Tuscaloosa where the final Alabama 62 and Mississippi State 57. The question coming in, could Alabama break a three-game losing streak? The answer is yes. And could they close out a game? And yes, the answer to that question. <laughs> I thought that the key to the game obviously was the Alabama defense. They did a tremendous job pressuring the basketball. They made Jarvis Bernardo work very hard for anything he got inside, and he was only four for 14 before he fouled out of the game. They made work, they made DeBoss work extremely hard to even get the ball, and I thought that disrupted the Mississippi State offense. And Alabama, they didn't score as many points as I thought they would need, but you know what? They made the shots when they needed to make them. You don't have to score all the time. You just have to score when you need one, and Alabama did that you today. Know, and, Dan, also they held off run after run by uh, Mississippi State, and also the three-point game was a big story here in Tuscaloosa, just 2 of 18 for the Bulldogs. Right. This is a Mississippi State team that comes in scoring almost 40% of their offense from beyond the three-point arc and only shooting 11%. Two three-pointers made as a season low for Mississippi State. And again, you just have to tip your hat to the Alabama defense. It was ferocious today. You know, Alabama, nine scholarship players. Uh, Anthony Grant, they're growing up together. Where does this game take them? Well, I think it gives them some confidence. They've had a couple of games, three SEC games in a row, where they've had a chance to win and they've lost the game. Now they start out very well. Mississippi State comes back and takes the lead, and then they have a great run, and Mississippi State comes back and takes the lead. So it convinces them that if they do what the coach wants them to do, then they can really have success. All right, Dan, great working with you today. Bama, exciting win here in Tuscaloosa, 62-57, the final. And uh, make sure you stay on top of all the news around college basketball all week long on CBSSports.com.